Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Sonic Show, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And we have another Marvel Spider-Man photo mode submission here. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the photos in just a moment. But before I do that, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Click on the bell so you all don't miss anything. Follow me on social media. Links to that is all in the description box below. And if you want to submit your Spidey photos once again, the best way to do it is through my Discord, which you can also find the invitation link to down in the description box below. And if you want to message me through my social media, you can send your photos there and I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at these amazing photos that you guys submitted this week. So we have Discord here uh, pulled up. Also, we have also some amazing submissions from Instagram, which... I don't really have time to look at right now at this moment because I'm actually recording this shortly before I have to take off to go to work. So I do apologize if I'm not going to be able to get into it, but I will be able to get into those photos next time. So right now I have a uh, Discord pulled up and let's go ahead and start with Strefo 123. Strefo, amazing shot. This actually reminds me of actually some of the promos from the original Spider Man trilogy movies. And that sunset with the Empire State Building in the background, looks nice. I'm kind of sad that the Chrysler Building didn't make it in the sequel for some reason. They removed it, I don't know why. And I think that building is just too iconic to be absent from a New York open world kind of game. But I just love the overall improvement Insomniac Games has done with the web suit, as they call it in this game, where is it looks more movie accurate. Where like uh, you know, whereas like the original, like when it originally first appeared in the game, it looks really weird. Where like the silver webs, or at least the webbing on his body, was very distracting and very silvery, and it had too much glow to it. Whereas this one looks a little, a lot better and a lot more movie accurate. So really, take it took some amazing shots. This is probably perhaps one of my favorites. That sunset just makes this costume even look a lot better. It's amazing how like a lot of these Spider-Man suits look better during certain settings or during certain times of the day. The web suit looks great during sunset settings and um, it also looks nice during the night. But I think this one, it, the moon looks way too bright. So uh, I really like this one. The black suit looks amazing at night. See, that's an amazing shot of the black suit. That looks like a very movie promo, promo material. Look, and they did a phenomenal job with like the lenses and the uh, the cloth in the lenses. It looks more movie accurate, and I love that. Down to like the little details, like of the honeycomb patterning that's around the costume. It's just it's beautiful. So great job, Strefo. You did an amazing shot with those photos. Let's see what Red Freddy has to show here. So here's a Red Freddy's uh, photo. I think this is of the Rami Rami suit as well, the web suit. Take it down an enemy with like the red blaring sunset or the sun in the background a lot of use of red here which i can definitely appreciate red's my favorite color i mean if you can't really tell from my um backdrop here on my overlay uh red is definitely my favorite color um what do you think of the overlays by the way i'm kind of like experimenting and i'm just working on you know different. i'm like i'm expanding i'm experimenting in every aspect of like content creation uh which also you're going to be seeing shortly some streams from me uh, on my Twitch, so I will be streaming solely on Twitch, uh, which are basically game. Uh, they're going to be games based on like that has nothing to do with you know comic book stuff. So I'm going to be streaming various types of games. If you guys are interested in checking it out, maybe we can play together and I can record us and then I can clip them and then I can upload it on my social media like you know Instagram and TikTok for example, which I do do a lot of content creation there. So definitely check me out there. Uh, but great job, uh, Red Freddy. I mean, I guess it's in the name, Red Freddy. Let's see. Uh, this one was submitted by, I don't know who this is, it says M on it, can't see the full name. This is of the um, Superior Spider-Man. Superior Spider-Man costume is just badass, and I knew that that costume had to make it in the game. But this looks fantastic. Good use of red lighting, although I would mix it up a little bit and maybe uh, integrate different kinds of lighting colors. Um, but it's a nice shot nonetheless, so great job. You know, and also not all photos have to like look amazing or badass. Some of them can be funny, which I can really appreciate. And he submitted some more photos. That's of the web suit Spider-Man just laying on the couch there, uh, like uh, outside, and then you got this gentleman there sitting there as well. He's got some nice kicks, really nice kicks. Damn, these NPCs got the hookup. <laughs> Really nice kicks there. Anyway, good shot. I love it. This is a fire one. Uh, let's see. This is cool. This is of Kraven um, fighting at least what is known as Agent Venom, which is actually Harry Osborn with like his own uh, Spider-Man makeshift costume with like the you know symbiote abilities. So this is really cool. 
Love that one. Let me see what else do we have here. Oh, I love this close-up shot. This looks like it's straight out of the movie. Because the lenses and the detail in the cloth and the honeycomb patterning in the mask, it kind of makes it look like it's from the movie, or at least an up-close shot of like a 3D version of Spider- You know like those moments when like he's swinging or fighting? Sometimes you'll see Spider-Man in like 3D, or at least a 3D version of Tobey Maguire that looks kind of iffy. You watch it now, it, it's pretty dated, but it just doesn't look as good. That's kind of what it reminds me of, um, but this is a really nice shot, so great job, man. Definitely submitted that one. Oh, Red Freddy back out again with the black suit. Even the black suit, at least the web, webbed black suit, looks really good during sun, sun settings, so I'm definitely going to give that a fire. Potions. You sound new, I think. First shot in a mint was messing around. Oh, no, he's he submitted it before. It was messing around photo mode with a little bit of everything and got this. Well, that's a beautiful shot. And is that from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales? Because it does snow in that game. And it looks like it's nighttime. But anyway, it is a gorgeous shot nonetheless. I love it. I love like the the red electricity flare that's flowing through his body and like like shooting out of him as he's like, you know, doing a boost jump. This is really cool. Great job, man. Potions, you definitely get a fire. Ooh, here, here's uh, G. I don't know why the, the names don't populate, but it doesn't tell me the role. But anyway, here's G with a Miles Morales variant costume right here. This one's a nice shot. A lot of use of red. Man, red seems to be the very, like, the theme here. Well, I'm, I'm wearing a red shirt right now. It's actually one of my favorite shirts. It's a $6 Target shirt. It's called Goodfellows, I think, or a good good something i can't remember i think it's called good fellow or something i remember but anyway these shirts are nice i always wear like different variations of shirts like this and this is actually one of my favorites so it's actually purely a coincidence that i'm wearing a red shirt it seems like the red is like the real theme <laughs> uh this is great i love it look at this one this is from plus plus he submitted photos here before and i like this one definitely gonna give that a fire also how do you do that? I'm sure you use you you take these photos in photo mode, you integrate these shots into Photoshop, and then you come up with this. I love this because the at the centerpiece is the main black suit, Insomniac's interpretation of the black suit. And then in the background, you have like a whole angel and devil situation going on here, whereas the angel is the anti-venom suit and the devil is like the symbiote suit, as Insomnia Games calls it. And I love that they created that. They got very creative with that because the symbiote suit is like the evolution of the black suit. It's basically Peter Parker at his worst. You know, he's just basically turning into this mindless monster into like this evil version of Spider-Man. And this is really cool. It's like an inner battle with your demons in a way. So I like this. Um, I love how like there's like a message behind this photo. If that's what you were going for, plus plus, then you definitely let me know because if you were going for that message, you definitely hit the nail on the coffin there. So great shot, man. That is peak right there. That's peak, I do agree. Uncle Ruckus, let's see what you submitted here. Ooh, a black variation of the superior Spider-Man and he got the tendrils coming out of him. Looks pretty good. Work on a little bit on the lighting. There's too much white there. It kind of makes the suit look gray instead of black. That one looks pretty cool too. That one's probably my favorite one. I like this one a lot. Got the tendrils coming out everywhere, ready to burst. So this one's good. Let's see what else we have here. Mr. Ghostman01, back at it again with the amazing shots. Let's see. I love me like the Iron Spider suit from the comics. Perfect. The classic Insomniac version suit. Awesome. The black suit from Insomniac. Superior Spider-Man. Okay. All right. They're good shots, but again, it needs a little work. Uh, lighting, you know, you need a little work on the lighting there. Um... With the exception of like this one and this one, those two look the best, in my opinion. It might be the costume that's doing it for me. Mr. Man Ghost. Okay, see, that's a good shot of the web suit right there. Um, good good um, work on like a little bit of the lighting there, but maybe integrate some more lighting to give it more on like, give it some more lighting on the body and everything like that. I know there's like lighting around it, but you can use just a little bit more of a touch up when it comes to lighting, filters, and stuff like that. But still, it's a nice shot. Um, Submitted some really good shots of the black suit right there as well. Miles variant, 1999.99. Great shot, man. This one is of the purple variant black suit. Uh, and this is of Spider-Man going after the lizard. I like this one. Kind of reminds me of um, Spider-Man Web of Shadows in a way because that suit had like a purple variant at least. Something about like the black suit being purple 
just makes it look even better. Spider-Man 3 callback reference. There's uh, Spider-Man right there at the church, and there's the church building from the movie, with Spider-Man just jumping down. That movie was so bleak and weird. Kind of depressing in a way, but still, it was weird. Ooh, very sharp. Did you use Spider-Chrome or something, or high action on this one, Solich? This is nice. This is a Miles Morales right there. The blacks look, like, really wet and dark on this one and the city looks realistic in the background it kind of makes spider-man pop out a lot great job soldage great job indeed all right let's see what else we have and that's pretty much it and here's the like finally the last one by johnny boy submitted this one of the tasm suit versus the lizard instantly reminds me of that sewer scene from the amazing spider-man the first movie spider-man at least is torn up and like just beaten up right here just fighting a monstrous lizard in the sewers. It's perfect. Talk about a really, really good shot right there. I love it. Anyway, and that's pretty much it for uh, this week's Marvel Spider-Man 2 photo mode submissions. You guys did an amazing job. It seems like red was like the major theme in this one. And uh, I can't wait to look forward to like next week's uh, photo mode submissions. Let me know your thoughts, guys. And as always, guys, if you want to submit your photos, like I said at the beginning, just send them my way through Discord or my social media. And uh, I'll try to make the next photo mode submission a little bit different by focusing a little bit more on social media as well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.